Welcome to video four for week six. In the previous video, I talked about transformations in R2. This is gonna be a short video. I'm gonna talk briefly about transformations in R3, but not in the same detail. What I wanna say is that the five types I defined in the previous video, they all continue to work in R3. I wanna talk briefly about them to tell you how they change. We're not gonna go through the matrix descriptions here. Things get a bit complicated there, but I wanna tell you about the, the changes that happen to these things. So rotations in R2 were always rotations about the origin. In R3, we now need to choose an axis of rotation. So you have rotations around any axis that's a, that is aligned to the origin. So you have, you have a much larger class of rotations because you have to choose these axes. axes. We also have reflections. In R2, we reflected over a line. That's the thing you flip over in two dimensions. In three dimensions, you have to reflect over a plane. You have to look at the other side of a whole two-dimensional plane. So you then have to find a plane and you can have any plane to the origin defines a reflection, which is a linear transformation. Uh, for skews in R2, I talked about squares being turned into parallelograms. In R3, instead of squares being turned into parallelograms, if I have a cube, then the cube gets skewed. Let's see how good my 3D drawing is today. Into a parallel pipette. So you think about squishing over a cube into a parallelogram version of the cube. And I can do that in a bunch of different directions. I can skew in the X, Y, or Z direction, depending on how my cube is oriented. And it's the same thing. It'll be the opposite on the positive and negative sides of the direction that you're skewing. Um, dilations, I can now dilate in three axes, X, Y, and Z. So stretch or shrink in the X axis, stretch or shrink in the Y axis, stretch or, stretch or shrink in the Z axis. Projections, I have now projections onto planes. So any plane to the origin, I can send every point to the closest point on that plane. That will collapse all of our three down to a two dimensional space. I can still project through a line to the origin. So I can collapse all of our three onto a line to the origin by sending every point to the closest point on the line. And I still have the projection to the origin where I just send everything to zero. Those were the only five things up to combinations I could do in R2. R3 also has a bunch of other things which are quite difficult to classify. I'll mention one example of, of something that doesn't fit but is not too difficult to describe. The matrix in R3, which is the negative of the identity matrix, this sends everything to just multiplying the vector by negative 1. If this acts on a vector x, y, z, I just get negative x, negative y, negative z. Feel free to check the matrix action there. In R2, the vector that sent everything to a negative was actually rotation by a half turn. Um, flipping something to the other side of the origin in R2 is the same thing as rotating around by a half turn. So this, this uh, version, if I looked sort of only at this piece in R2, would have been a rotation. In R3, this is neither a rotation nor a reflection. It's often called reflection through the origin because every vector goes to the w vector exactly opposite on the origin but it's, it's not actually a rotation or a reflection. If you want to visualize this thing, if you think of an inflatable ball, um, this, this transformation is like turning the ball inside out. You'd have to actually turn the thing inside out and inflate it again inside out and get everything on the opposite side. And that's neither rotation or reflection. And that's just one example of many, many kinds of things you can do in R3 that we didn't have the flexibility to do in R2. So we don't have as nice a classification, but we still have the matrix encoding, and we're gonna try and use that to get all the information we need because all of the information is there somehow in the coefficients of the matrix. Uh, 